All right, guys, before we get started, just a reminder that we do have some merch. For now, it's just t-shirts with the RPA logo. So if you're enjoying the channel, you want to sport a t-shirt, or just support the channel in general, you can grab some merch. You can click like, leave comments, subscribe, all that stuff. And you can also join our Patreon and also check out BBTS, where I got this figure. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, thanks for tuning in. Um, I'm not going to call this a review since it really isn't. I took a look at all the videos out there and I'm sure you guys have seen all of them. And I'm sure you're waiting for my review, but I've chosen not to do a full review. If I do, if I get enough requests, maybe I'll, I'll go ahead and do it. Uh, but I'm sure you guys have seen everything about this figure, so I figured I'd just maybe take the chance to um, give you guys my opinion over this and my other favorite uh, Voltron which is the or Go Lion, whatever you want to call them GX71 which I have right here. You'll notice I am using gloves because I want to look like Mickey Mouse. No, actually it's so I don't get any fingerprints on the chrome uh, and I'll get to that in just a second but just you know if you guys are wondering which one you should buy the good thing is the uh, GX71 is now like decent pricing. I remember the GX71 was being sold for like 1100 bucks, $800, all that stuff. It was really hard to find at, at one point and they just kept re-releasing it. For some reason I just can't get the correct angle to get him to stand up there. But um, yeah, as soon as this guy was, uh, you know, people heard this guy was going to be released, all of a sudden the prices went down. But it's still a great figure to have, but I'm just going to give you my uh, feedback on both in case you're wondering which one you should buy. You should keep in mind that there's a, you can probably get about almost three of these with the further price of that. So take that into consideration. And uh, bef excuse me, a lot of hiccups uh, before you go ahead and whatever. So of course we, we're going to start off with this one, uh, GX71, because when I first heard this was coming out, I freaked out. I remember seeing like that little teaser photo for SDCC or whatever. And I freaked out because I've always been wanting Bandai to make their version of, you know, the figure we all love. Or the character we all love. And of course there were other companies out there making their own versions. Toynami made a nice version. It was trying to keep with the, uh, the way it looks uh, without stylizing it. Although I think they made it a little bit too skinny. But if you look at the cartoon, sometimes he does look that skinny. So it just depends on what your opinion is about the way he should look. Uh, but I think Bandai hit it on the head. I think this is probably, for me at least, the best, I guess, looking version. Uh, they didn't go overboard with stylizing it with extra stuff that it shouldn't have, so it looks pretty good. I think they did a good job on the face sculpt, although I think maybe the, uh, the cheekbones are a little too thin. Uh, I can never really, I don't think we'll ever get like a perfect sculpt for the face like there, there's a lot of nice ones but as far as being perfect um, I don't know if we'll see that anytime soon uh, but uh, again I'm just nitpicking I'm just trying to find stuff about it uh, one good thing that they did is that they did um, do the anime correct legs so and I didn't realize this until like a couple years back or when this came out that the slit here is only on the odd number lions I don't know how I didn't catch that in the cartoon but I went back to look and I'm like oh wow that's that's how it is and the odd uh, the, excuse me the even numbers have little circles here I don't know and me being such a huge fan I have a lot of his, history with Vol I, I even took pictures for the anniversary book that's me Charles Diaz in the book taking pictures of the lion toys so obviously I do have a, a, a big background vulture anyway uh, getting away from that um, this, at the time it came out, I was just like blown away. I was like, this is the Voltron for the rest of my life. And it kind of still is. Um, so, my opinion of this is, it's great. It's made by the company that made the original, sort of. It's uh, Bandai, but the original one was Popey, but Bandai, whatever, same thing. But, um, so they did their best with this, and I think they knocked it out of the, the ballpark. It's pretty much the same size, as maybe a little bit bigger than the original. Uh, it's keeping in line with pretty much everything else they've released with, with Voltron, except this is probably the best one up to this point, uh, price-wise, looks-wise, for me. 
and I'll never get bored of it. The only thing I should uh, tell you guys is, uh, actually he's supposed to be like this, and he's not supposed to have these long thighs, but because I put the longer thighs on, the metal ones, you can see they're kind of like hazy. I can kind of take that haze off with my finger. It's kind of annoying to keep them shiny. Well, because of the extended uh, legs, I did bring this up a little bit just to make them look proportional, right? And give them a little bit more height. Now the downside with this figure, they didn't really do any like kind of gimmickry or people hate when I uh, use the word gimmicks, but you know what I mean. Like they didn't do anything, you know, to hide the um, the legs. No special features like that. There's no pilots. And as a kid, you know, when I had the Voltron, I'm thinking to myself, I wish Voltron had little toys. I mean, uh, toys, little pilots. And I knew at that age uh, that that was kind of impossible because I knew what was out there. I knew, I, oh, jeez. I knew, you know what? <sighs> Give me one second. Let me get this guy straightened out. Yeah, I shouldn't be touching him so much while I talk. I'm just trying to keep you guys entertained without looking at the same thing. But as a kid, I knew the limitations of toys, and I'm thinking, like, pilots that would fit in there, it's probably not going to happen. Uh, but we'll talk about that in a second. So I would say that this, for me, is probably the best-looking one. It's probably because I'm so used to looking at it. Uh, so if you're wanting my opinion, this is a great figure. It's hefty. It looks good. And it's made by the, the original creators of uh, the Gold Lion toy, right? So move on. I think there's nothing else I should say about that. Uh, oh, I was talking about the gimmicks, yeah. So as a kid, I'm thinking like the ears should open up. You know, should have the pilots. Uh, if you know Soul of Chagokin toys, they do a lot of stuff to make it look like the, the cartoon. They give you like hundreds of different fists. They give you all the different anime correct features. And they dropped the ball on this. Now, be honest, I knew about the Go Lion Solo Chogokin years back. Um, I have a history with Collection DX, and to make a long story short, we had access to a lot of information. Uh, even before it was really even talked about, we knew it was coming. Um, but I was still in shock when it actually happened. So, I don't know, because I didn't actually see the original prototype, so I don't know if this is based off the prototype which was very old which is why this might be a little dated to some some of you guys that collect solo Shogokin. but uh i feel like it's it feels a little bit dated and it's not too bad it's just not like what you would consider other solo Shogokin that i have that have tons of accessories and little replacement parts and this didn't come with anything the, the heads on the uh on the blue the head on the blue line doesn't pop up the ears don't open up um, just little things like that. They didn't come with like all the. I mean, it came with some accessories and weapons, but you guys know what I mean. Anyway, now we can move on. Uh, let me get this guy out of the way because I feel like he's gonna just fall over and scratch up my blitz way. Not that he's unstable. I just have the legs all weird. Uh, but yeah, we get to this guy. Oh boy, this thing is nice and heavy and beautiful. So this thing right off the bat, if you were looking for presents, there's no need to look anywhere else. Even the Maddie Collector for being so huge kind of looks a little wonky and corny. But if you want something that people will be like, wow, that's like a museum piece. It looks amazing. Even though the GX-71 will get you by, people will really be blown away if they do see this. The GX-71, wow, this is like, woo. Now, having said that, um... It's beautiful. I'm not going to say it's not beautiful, but there's like certain things that I feel they took liberties on, uh, but they kept mostly to the way it's supposed to be, right? So I'm sure they had a couple of liberties, but not as much as, as like, for example, that uh, King of Beasts that was made by that company. I don't remember the company. There was a whole big issue with that. Um, yeah, there was a big mess with that. And, and the other Voltrons that they have that... You know, they went crazy with this style. But anyway, this didn't stray too far from what it's supposed to look like. As a matter of fact, it looks really nice. I do feel like the yellow lion's eyes are too wide apart, uh, which, which bothers me because I love the way the yellow lion looks. Um, if I can get the head here, just to show you guys what I mean. So it looks good. I mean, you're looking at it, it looks good. But I kind of like the way this looks. This looks more like the uh, original toy. 
where the eyes are kind of close together. Um, but being used to this and looking at that, the eyes do look a little bit separated, but again, not as bad as some other figures I've seen. And then the blue line looks really good. Uh, and of course they did the uh, covers here, which it's not perfect. It's not perfect, but they tried. But because this is here, it kind of makes it look more stylized because he doesn't really look like this. If you're trying to make it look like the cartoon, but I can see what they tried to do, and that, that I I can I can deal with that. Same thing with the blue line, makes it a little more stylized, but uh, I I get the idea. The only thing is, uh, of course, this is going to be super tough to cover this, uh, but having this covered and this one not, then that makes makes it stand out a little bit more, if you know what I mean. But where they did do an amazing job is the arm lines. Okay, so even though they have like that uh, little these little panels here that are a little bit stylized, like I'd, I'd like to not maybe see those vents. Uh, but again, it looks cool with them if you're looking for that. But you know, I'm one of the old school people that would like it to look more vintage. But uh, but they did a great job because at least here they're actually circles like the way they're supposed to be. Excellent job. Kind of peek through here, which is okay. I can put up with that. The details here, the star, everything looks good. Um, just, I wish they would just stick to one thing. It's either going to be gold uh, color and then gold chrome or, you know, but it doesn't look bad. It doesn't actually look like it doesn't match or anything. Um, this kind of bothers me, the angle on the nose coming down like that. Again, it's pretty much comes down to just nitpicking. A lot of this stuff I can put up with. Now the price of this figure, yeah, what is it, like 700 bucks? Uh, between six and seven. I don't know off the top of my head, but there'll probably be a link in the description below uh, where I got mine at BBTS. I think it was a little over six. Um, we look at the back here. A lot of detail in the back. It's got some butt cheek boxes here. The tail isn't like just all over the place, which is cool. I wish the tail could be hidden a little bit better. Um, but again, nitpicking. This is always going to be on, on Voltrons, I think. Uh, at least with the technology we have. I say that and then maybe 10, 15 years someone will come out with something else. It'll blow everything out of, the wa out of the water. But so far, this I think is the king of Voltron figures. Um, if you can afford it, this is the way to go. If you're looking for impact. If you're looking just to keep yourself happy without spending a lot of money, definitely GX71. But if you're looking for just total impact and wow factor, not only for people that see it, but for yourself every single time you pick it up, this is it. There's no way to pick this up and not be like, this is amazing. Like, I can't imagine ever just having this figure on the side and being like, wow, I'm just so bored of looking at it. Let's put it away. No. The GX71 does does feel a little old sometimes when I look at it, but it's still a great figure to look at. But I, I can't imagine that happening with this. It does have LED features, which is another, which is another thing to consider. Um, I know it comes with little bulbs and everything. I didn't actually put anything there on the line so I can't really show you that but the figure is so solid I mean a lot of the stuff feels really tight even the movement of the arms it's got beautiful ratcheting arms here I mean the figure just feels amazing and one of the biggest features that I love is the fact that it has pilots and how can I show you this so a little door here I'm gonna show you with the macro lens what I mean all right, so I apologize, the macro lens is not gonna work, but somehow I gotta work with this phone. Can you see that, the little pilot? Little Lance in there. And this goes for all the figures. It's got, you know, Pidge, Hunk, the Princess, and of course, Keith. And an obvious, obvious thing they should have done is include freaking Sven. That's the least they could have done. These figures are tiny. It does have uh, like little tiny stand-up figures. I do have them in the box, which is in storage, so I apologize for that. Um, but yeah, just the inclusion of those pilots makes a makes it a big deal for me. And they're super detailed. I mean, you just saw Lance there. I mean, you see all the, you know, the the, the shoulder armor and and all the little red, you know, details. And it carries on with with all of them. Like, uh, really want to try this macro lens shot here. Oh, it's so hard to do. Where's the light? Oh, there he is. Can we see? Can you see, guys? 
Damn, I can't aim. But you can see Pidge. Oh my god, it's so hard to get light in here. Which is kind of weird because like you want to see it. You want to be able to see it and they make it difficult. Oh, that's probably the best I could do right there. I wish I could show you more. That's probably the best. But look how small that thing is. And it's got detail. The belt even has detail. And I love the way this tail is designed. Just plug it right in. Plugs in smooth and it holds so firm. So, uh, yeah. Again, this wasn't a review. But it was just my uh, opinion. Since I love uh, all types of Voltrons, I do have my favorites. So, my favorites are the GX71 and the Blitzway. And it's kind of hard to really say which was my favorite so I, I pretty much just say that uh, you want something with wow factor it's this one not only for people looking at it but for yourself but the GX71 is a good stand-in if you can't afford this I wouldn't feel bad if you can only have the GX71 because really the only thing this has going for it is just the little, little pilots the L, pretty much everything let's just be honest but um but yeah it's pretty much my view on this love my Blitzway don't regret getting it. If you have the money, I'm sure you won't regret it. It's worth every penny. I mean, there's. I just did a review of a little Daitetsujin 1.7, which is $215. And it's a little, like, 6-inch die-cast robot. I mean, I'd, I'd rather, you know, get this. This seems more like a bargain. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys want to pick one up, it's still available over at bbts.com. They got $4 flat rate shipping. So if you're buying it somewhere else and they're charging you a bunch of money for shipping, just keep that in mind. $4 flat rate shipping no matter what you buy, which is awesome. So it only cost me 4 bucks to ship this guy. Um, and it doesn't take forever. It's shipped right here in the U.S. But uh, speaking of that, yeah, guys, the link is down, down there. Uh, again, all the links to support the channel are down there for Patreon. Merchandise is uh, in the description. And uh, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think. Um, since the comparison here has been with the GX71 and the Blitzway, maybe there's something you want to, you know, provide any feedback to Voltrons that you have, what you like about them, what, do you, what you don't like about them. And if you do have the Blitzway, what do you think? What do you think about having paid that much and getting what you got? Is it worth it? Is it not worth it? Do you prefer a GX71? Do you hate the GX71? It's a space where we can talk, guys. So leave the comment below and uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Take care.